And the Eastern Illinois group continues to file in here at OVC Media Day, Doubletree in Evansville, Indiana. Bob Belvin, glad to have you along here on ESPN Plus. Our thanks to Center Point Energy. Stan Lures, Marty Simmons joining us from Charleston, made the big trip. Stan, welcome. How are you? Good, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. You uh, uh, been playing basketball long, maybe? A little bit of time. You're playing basketball yeah. for this guy right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of time. Well, what a thrill. I was just telling him to, to show you how old Coach and I are. I was just telling him <laughs> I saw him play at the old Roberts Stadium. So I'll let him tell you. How long ago was that, Marty? Uh, seems like yesterday, to be honest with you. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> it's but, been uh, a darn while. A lot of fun. It was a great place to play. And wasn't that one of the places that had the uh, – it was like a loading dock at the back where they just rolled up. Literally in a basketball arena, they just roll up the roll doors like it was a UPS shipping facility and the wind would blow in there. And it was a very pleasant place to play in, say, January when they roll those doors. Big tunnel right there, and you'd That's run right. out of that tunnel onto the floor. And we always had great fan support. And uh, pretty amazing. Aren't you glad we improved it It got the Ford Center next door to us, right? Yeah, it's nice. Very yeah. nice facility. I'm, I'm pretty uh, – passionate about Roberts because that's where I played sure uh, and it was a terrific a lot of history and tradition uh, in that facility but obviously when they built the Ford Center it's an immaculate facility enough of the nostalgia you and I we, we could talk later at lunch we'll have a good we'll have a good time with that what do you think about this conference what's, what's been your thoughts about playing in the OVC it's a tough conference, a lot of talented players, uh, but it's fun. I really enjoy it. When I go to the arena, what can I expect from you? Um, I'm just going to play hard, uh, play smart, you know, be competitive. So just like the whole team. Can we describe you, as an, Dan, as an old school guy, kind of like coach next to you in terms of scrappy on the floor after loose balls? Is that you or kind of kind of help us know you're uh, – DNA. Definitely try to be that guy, that uh, first on the floor, uh, vocal, just working hard out there. So, yeah, I'd say if that's old school, then yeah. How fun or maybe not fun, Marty, was it to come back to this conference and and get integrated back into some places that you're familiar with, some not so familiar with, and then all of a sudden after you think you got it figured out, we add three more clubs to the conference. Yeah, it was it, two answers. Yeah, it was fun, and yes, it wasn't fun. You know, we struggled last year. It's not a secret. That part wasn't fun, but uh, just being back in, you know, an area where I grew up, you know, uh, and you know the support from Dr. Glassman and Tom Michaels and and really the whole community, uh, it's there. You know, we just have to do our job, and we feel like we've brought in uh, some guys this year, along with the guys that that did stay and return that fit what we're looking for. Guys are going to go to class, going to show up on time. They're going to work hard in practice. They're going to work outside of practice, uh, you know, have a have a servanthood mentality. So uh, we're excited about our group, as I'm sure every coach that sits here and talks to you, but we really are. All the coaches are undefeated right now, Dan, so you got to watch out with that. So what has it been like uh, integrating in with – a lot of transfers, a lot of new faces, as Coach alluded to. What's that been like for you? Uh, honestly, it's been great. The new guys are uh, – they're great guys. Uh, we all get along really well. We were there together in the summer. So uh, we got to know each other really well, doing stuff outside of basketball like that. So, honestly, it's been great. What can we expect from you this season? Um, we're going to we're gonna compete. We're going to go out there. Uh, we're going to work hard, be smart. So, I mean, just really competitive, I'd say. When did you know you wanted to be a Division One basketball player? Well, uh, maybe a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> really? So I transferred up, so, uh, yeah. you know, it just happened. But so, obviously, as a kid, you always dream of playing Division One and everything like so that. You're so you're getting ready to go to some exotic places <laughs> where basketball is going to take you and where Coach has probably been. Isn't that fair to say? Has he warned you about some of these places that uh, he's put on the schedule? Um, he hasn't warned me, but uh, obviously you look at the schedule and you see Illinois, Ohio State, and stuff like that, so it's pretty exciting. Be warned. <laughs> You're going to go to some exciting places. How quickly was it when Tom Michael called you and you were at Clemson that you said, oh, yeah, I want to come home? Yeah, he knew right away. I mean, I reached out to them. You know, uh, Again, for all, the, for all the reasons we already talked about, I just think the league 
I like the league. It's a competitive league. Obviously, uh, it's in my neck of the woods, the Midwestern part of the, the country where we already had recruiting ties. Uh, and then I, my history at, at, at Charleston, you know, playing up there in a the holiday tournament, playing in four super sectionals. Uh, a lot of the kids, you know, my brother graduated from Eastern Illinois. Right. So, uh, and then, you know, having Tom, you know, someone that's, you know, played the game of basketball at a high level, uh, terrific guy to work with. And, and uh, I mean, we're looking to, to, to build and, and hopefully build something special, something that, you know, the university, the community, and all the alumni can be really proud of. With Tom's help, you need to height rather. You need to see if he's got some eligibility left. I mean, he'd be pretty good. Pretty right. good he's post player. Like pretty good post player, it. would he? Yeah. <laughs> he'd be okay. He'd he be can shoot it. Yes, All right. Sir. So, Dad, Dad threw it out there, but uh, speaking of schedule, who's responsible for this craziness? That's Novsack. That's Novsack, <laughs> yeah. But you know what? It, you know, I talked to Coach Cruz after Coach Cruz had went out to yeah. Army, and, you know, he had played at Connecticut and Duke and some of those places. And he just talked about the experience that his players got from playing in those venues. And I think our guys, you know, there'll be a time when they're our age and they'll have children and, and they'll want to tell them about playing in the State Farm Center or playing over at Ohio State, whatever it may be. And, and, and it, it prepares you for, for, for the league. You know what I mean? You're going to play against great competition where well, you're going to play against great competition when you get into conference play. Basketball, is that something you've been uh... – thinking about for a long time in terms of wanting to play is it you mentioned it's kind of new to you kind of take us through your progression to eastern illinois and just kind of how it all came about um well i was at a little division three school and one of uh kind of a friend got in contact with coach about me maybe uh walking on there so coach gave me a spot and then you know just worked hard and trusted what uh he was telling me and everything like that so Got to love those days of uh, uh, PDF, not a PDF file, but just sending it game game tape, as we used to call yeah. it. Coach and I used to yeah. call it game film, actually. Yep. As Coach and I used to call it. it. It works a whole lot easier, the recruiting process, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's, uh, tell me about school at Eastern Illinois. Uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, nice campus. People there are great. So we really like it. Give me a major. Uh, exercise looking? science. Okay. So you're going to be running laps in Lance Arena. <laughs> For, I mean, he's got a he's got a tall, slender build, so he's going to be in pretty good shape as well. So, all right, got a lot of new schools in the conferences we kind of alluded to, and, and I think you touched on a little bit. But uh, what's your impression of season one as you've gone through this conference? Impressed, you COVID know. aside, which yeah, was crazy I mean, for you too. Great coaches. I mean, everybody's got their own niche, of what they want to do. You know, philosophy wise, uh, talent level is extremely good. You know, we knew that. We played against a lot of the. OVC schools when we were here. Uh, now with you know fans being able to come to the games, I think we'll be in good environments. Uh, obviously, losing Murray and Austin P and Belmont is gonna is gonna be a difference. Uh, I think it it just gives us a lot more parity. Where I think more teams are are really gonna be feel like they have a chance to win it. Got a long some long road trips this season too, right? Yeah. Little Rock to Charleston. <laughs> Dan's already grimacing. <laughs> little, little Rock to Charleston is a view, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, fun along the way. All right, classic media question for both of you. For Eastern Illinois to be successful this season, what must happen? Dan? Um, uh, I don't know. Guys got to work hard, compete. Uh, you know, I think we, we have plenty of guys, you know, that can do it. So if we, you know, listen to the coaches, work hard, I think we'll be successful. Give me the X in his nose. What's got to happen? I can't Marty? beat ourselves. Okay. You know, we've, we've got to be much better defensively. We've got some rim protectors. We've got some guys that we feel can get out and pressure. Hopefully we can create a little bit of offense from our defense. And then offensively, I think we'll, we'll be very diverse. I mean, we've got some guys inside that can score. We've got some athleticism. We've got some guys that can shoot. But uh, just not, not turning it over, taking care of the ball, and uh, not beating ourselves. Dan Lewis, Marty Simmons, Eastern Illinois. Marty and I are wax poetic about all things Evansville <laughs> and basketball in the 80s. In the 80s, folks, Marty and I have been here. Gosh, we've been around a long time. Dan wasn't even thought of at that point in time. <laughs> be in good shape. OVC Media, hey, we're through our first block this 
this morning. We still have another full morning block, so you can kind of do your math on the teams that we're going to meet, two of which are new to the conference. So we'll break for a few minutes here. This is OVC Media Day, presented by Centerpoint Energy, right here on ESPN+. Plus.